Good morning, YouTube, and when I say good morning, I mean good morning. It is about 7.45, and I am up and about and ready to hunt. I've got a few hours before work today, so I figured I would come to a new park. Uh, haven't been here before. It's called Durant Park, uh, right down by the state capitol. This park has been here since the early 20s. Uh, it's a pretty popular area. It's right by a, a local community college as well, so there's a lot of people that hang out here. I'm a little bit sad though because it's getting cold. It's getting really cold really quick and that means fall is coming. There's already leaves on the ground so I may only have uh, a month, maybe a month and a half left of hunting for the year. So I'm trying to get out as much as I can so I can produce videos for you guys so that even over the winter I'll still be able to uh, push some out for you. So with that let's go take a look see what I can find. Maybe I'll dig up something cool today. Okay, right at the base of this really beautiful tree, found a couple things. Number one, the old bullet at the bottom of the tree. It's becoming a trend. There it is. I think it's a fairly new bullet. Still surprising. Uh, number two, found a coin, 1963 Memorial Penny. And then I uh, flipped the plug over I realized, ah, I should probably check the plug one more time, make sure there's not a coin spill. And I'm glad I did because there's another one. Let's take a look together. I'm guessing it's a penny. Nope, that's just the dirt. There it is. All right, what do we got here? It's a nickel. 19... Can't see that one. Looks like 1970. It's a really pretty color on it. And there you go. Always check your hole. One more time. Sorry for the traffic noise. I'm right next to the, uh, to the road here. Um, that tree that I just pulled those two coins from, I actually found another penny after wrapping that video up. It was a 1961, so there you go, three coins in one hole. That's a pretty good one. Have you guys ever noticed this? Maybe it's just me. Magnetic trees. I see this a lot, and I'm just wondering if anybody else has noticed this. Uh, I'm guessing there's some metal that was absorbed at one point in the tree. Kind of funny i see it a lot and i just wanted to know if you guys had uh noticed that yourselves just dug this up under this little tree here really not very deep at all couldn't for the life of me figure out what this could be for a second and then i realized that i think it's the top to a little toy boat it's kind of cool i'll have to clean that up and see what it looks like what do we have here? Almost a surface find. Ah. <laughs> that is a bus token. Kind of funny. was coming up pretty faint and I almost gave up I almost walked away because there was really almost nothing there and then this guy just popped out and it's looking promising what do I have this looks really really old <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to freak out. This could be the oldest coin I've found. Alright, hold on, I gotta clean this up. 
guys, super happy right now. Super happy. Oh, I'm so happy I did not pass this up. I almost walked away. Oh my god, I came so close to walking away. It was just the faintest signal ever. Let me show you what I found. It's really chewed up, but it's an 1893 Barber. Oh my god. I am freaking out right now. This is so awesome. I cannot believe I just found this. The best find I've ever found. In terms of coins. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I just wish it was in better condition, but... Absolutely amazing. This made the park hunt worth it. Okay, I think there's more here. I'm barely getting a signal here. It's coming up really deep. So I'm gonna keep digging this spot because I'm praying for a coin spill. All right guys, there's a bunch here. And I'm just gonna take my time and see what I can find. Uh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, so there's a, another really strong hit uh, about a foot away, foot and a half away from that, where I found that diamond. There's something else in there, but I can't find it yet. But for sure there's something right here and I just found it. So we're gonna do this one live. It's about the same depth as that barber dime. And I'm gonna try to be really careful here. I do not want to scratch it. This might take a while and I apologize. But I always enjoy live digs. At least watching them. <laughs> oh shoot. I think I see it and I think it's iron. Yep, it's just a nail or a bolt. That's too bad. Because it was coming up a similar tone and in a similar spot on my detector as that dime did. But I'm going to keep looking. I'm hoping that wasn't the only one. All right, everybody, here is the haul for today. I've been at this park for about three hours now. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, pretty much everything I was pulling up was, was garbage for quite some time there, right until the end. But We'll go over what I got. You got this little toy boat. It's kind of neat. A couple rounds of ammunition. Uh, this one looks to be pretty old, but there's no identifiers on it, so I, I couldn't tell you where it came from. Uh, a bunch of metal. Nothing too crazy. Old cans, bolts, things like that. Um, we've got some pull tabs. Of course, always pull tabs everywhere. A bunch of little erasers. I kept finding those. Must be um, a lot of school kids pass through here. And then clad, um, 60s through 80s. But you know what? None of it matters because of this guy right here. Made it all worth it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully the first of many, but I'm pretty happy with that find. Absolutely incredible. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate the support. Absolutely love you guys watching. I hope to make many, many more videos, hopefully before the fall comes and, and then especially winter. I'm gonna be stuck inside and that's not gonna be fun for anybody. So until then, thanks for watching. Keep digging for me and my little friend here. Have a great one. Thanks guys.